Okay, we take off this, put on this, check it out, looks nice, big throttle body, the right camshaft, little tuning, yeah. and away we go. Okay guys, it's time for an upgrade on the L33 5.3 liter. Take a look, I already have a video up where we made over 500 horsepower, so it did really well. We had the fast intake manifold, we had a Brian Tooley Racing red hot camshaft, and then we had a set of home ported by the guys at Brian Tooley Racing, ASCAS 220 trick flow heads that were also milled. This is a stock bottom end L33 5.3 liter from the wrecking yard, high mileage, all of that stuff. But we wanted to find out if we could take it like to the next level. How much power could we make? And the goal is to make 530 horsepower out of a 5.3. So we get 100 horsepower per liter. That's right, the magical 100 horsepower per liter. So what we're going to do is upgrade the intake manifold and upgrade the camshaft and see if we can push power higher in the RPM range and get 100 horsepower per liter. When it comes to average power production, especially on a 5.3 liter up to and including maybe 7,000 RPM. This fast LS LSXR 102 millimeter with a matching 102 millimeter throttle body is really, really hard to beat. But we're gonna try to push RPM past that range in an effort to get 100 horsepower per liter. So we're gonna put a short runner Brian Tooley Racing Trinity intake manifold on there and see if that can help us reach the big power on the big end. All right, got a box full of fun here. All right, let's take this thing and put it on here. So the first step according to the instructions, obviously we disassemble the three parts of the intake manifold and then we're installing these O-rings in place it all back together. Got one side on. I'll put the other one. So we've got our O-rings on. Going right in those little receiver grooves. They're really nice. Put our bolts in. Tighten them up. So we've tightened up all of our bolts for the runners. Now it's time to put the O-rings in so we can seal the intake to the cylinder heads. There are two sets of O-rings included with the intake. This is what happens when you try to use the intake runner O-ring on the flange for the intake and the cylinder head. It just doesn't fit. With our intake on, time to install the fuel rail. Yeah. Nicely packaged. So we'll get the, all that on with our injectors and get her all ready. Okay, you can see we've got the fuel rail on with our injectors. The cool thing is if you take a look at these, these standoffs, three different sizes, I'll go ahead and insert some photos here so you can see, three different sizes are supplied with the kit depending on the length of the injector that you want to put on. That's kind of a nice touch. After installing the fast 102 millimeter throttle body, the Brian Tooley Racing intake was ready to go. Now it was time for the camshaft. Now it's time to swap the cam. We removed the coil packs, the valve cover, the rocker arms, push rods, then attack the front cover and the damper. We replaced the Red Hot cam with the LS3 Stage 4, and we're ready to go. Okay, we've got everything hooked up. You can see, console's all ready, engine's out there. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna set the camera up. We're gonna make a pull all the way to, I don't know as high as it will go, I guess. See if we can make some good power. You can see, it's all set up and ready to go. So we'll get the camera set up. Let's make some noise. Okay guys, who's ready for some RPM? Yeah, big end. Charging hard on the big end.
check out our tune. 29.9 degrees up at the top, some 29s, 27s, 26s, 24s. That's a 3,500, 23, and 3,000, although we're not loading it down that low. You kind of see the top three rows are the ones that I change. In case anybody was wanting to see the tune on it. So here is the fuel. See, basically it just increases as we go up. We're making more power. It needs more fuel. Really only interested in the top three. I change all three of the top just so that there's no interpolation between those, but you know, it's just a kind of a quickie map. All I care about is how it's idling and the transition up into these top three rows. It goes across all those at wide open throttle. Yeah, so what do you think? Did it make 100 horsepower per liter? Did it make more than 530 horsepower? It sure sounded good revving out there. Let's go find okay, out. Okay, guys, it should be immediately evident that, yes, indeed, we did succeed. We made our official 100 horsepower per liter or 530 horsepower from our 5.3 liter. In fact, not only did we reach that goal, we exceeded it. In this case, our modified combination of the original L33 junkyard motor produced 541.8 very important so we can round up to, to 542 horsepower at 7600 and it also achieved five, 541 horsepower at 7700 and 541 horsepower at 7500 so we had we had kind of reached the zenith there we had reached the peak out there 76 7700 rpm this thing made quite a few runs at that and remember this is not a built motor. The only thing built about it are the head scam and intake manifold. The rest of it is the way that this motor came from the wrecking yard, meaning it is a truck pan, a truck oil pump, a factory oil pump, a truck pickup, stock block, stock crank, stock rod, stock pistons. We didn't put any ring gap in this, even though we had run boosts on this thing previously. This thing has been used for dozens and dozens of tests. This thing has probably more than I'm sure more than a hundred pulls on it already after me pulling it from its high mileage engine bay in the wrecking yard. But now we're making some high RPM pulls and the thing's working great. And we can credit the fact that we had the right kind of camshaft in it. We had the right spring package and it was set up properly. This thing had the factory original rocker arms on it, the high mileage rocker arms. It did have um, a, an upgraded push rod, mostly because we changed the push rod length from way back. We've continued to use this 7.425 inch push rod and this thing worked well. But the way that we were able to achieve this from our previous example, where we had upgraded this thing trying to make 500 horsepower, we had upgraded both the camshaft and the intake manifold. In this case, the intake manifold, we went to a short runner, which tends to promote power production at a higher engine speed. Shorter runners make power at higher engine speeds. A Brian Tooley Racing Trinity intake manifold. We used a 102 millimeter throttle body that we always use. And then that was teamed with, previously when we made 500, we were using a Brian Tooley Racing Red Hot camshaft, which is a pretty good sized camshaft, but we had plenty of room left in terms of piston to valve clearance, so why don't we just take advantage of that? In this case, we slid in a Recport cam, yes, an LS3 Stage 4 cam that is used for a lot of things, 636 lift, a 233-250 X duration, and 113 degree lobe separation angle. Please, I want my guys, my lobe separation angle guys to sound off. You need to put a tighter LSA in there. It'll make a lot more power. Please let me know in the comments. I want to hear from you guys. But the combination of the more aggressive camshaft and the short runner intake allowed us to push the power peak out at a higher engine speed and then make more power. So 541.8 horsepower. And what about torque, Richard? Well, this thing produced 403.9 Again, so we can round up to 404 foot-pounds at both 5,800 and 5,900 RPM. So it was a very, very narrow torque plateau of 200 RPM there, but 404 foot-pounds of torque. So it did well. I want to know from you guys, <laughs> and I'm going to do a part two to this. This thing is making lots of power. It's running lots of RPM. How many pulls do you think that we could make with this thing like this? I mean, again, it is the original wrecking yard motor, the L33. It's already been subjected to boost and it's been subjected to nitrous. It's been su su subjected to all kinds of different camshafts and obviously different cylinder heads and different intake manifolds now. And yet it just keeps going and going. Again, we didn't put short travel lifters in this. These are the original lifters that we ran. 
and yet the L33 just keeps on going. So also what I know from you, what I want to know from you guys in the comments, let me know what you think we should do because is right after I told Brian about the results of this, I said, hey, look, the stuff that we were talking about worked very well. We achieved seven or 541 horsepower at 7,600 RPM. But now what do we do immediately after we succeeded? What do we do about making more power? So we talked about what do you guys think about E85? What do you think about M1? Or let me know in the comments, what other modifications would you guys like to see to achieve even more power from our junkyard L33? Meantime, I'm Richard Holder. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. I'll keep testing.